Hello, my name is Denise Jones, and I am the attorney in the award-winning feature film, I Do. You can see it on 2B, Amazon Prime. Yeah, man, it, it, it changed my life completely, like to the point where you still see the residuals of that today. Right. You know, we, like I said, we grew up watching you and looking at a, a, a black man, a, a black boy at the time, pretty much about the same age as us. We're growing up with you. It's almost like you took a piece of us into those films because it was so relatable right but now that we're adults you kind of look at it from the outside looking in and how was your childhood affected from this because you're doing all these great things all these movies coming out you're 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 looked at all over the world as this great actor but we all know we love just going outside and playing we like doing things and just being normal so how was life for you as just a child as brandon hammond doing all this time of success man i'm glad you asked that honestly I'm going I'm to keep it a buck, keep it a buck with y'all, you know, imagine, so we all know, right, that, that the development of a child's brain, right, is, does, is nowhere, it's not comparable to an adult, right. but yet you're asking children, right, to try to navigate growing up in an adult industry, that's all you're around. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot that, that goes on in the industry, y'all. Like, like real talk, like if it wasn't for my mother, um, her grounding, my family, I'll say this, I, I see, it's like, you know, when you hear these stories, man, of, of former child actors and the burnout rate and how high it is. And it actually is something for me, it's like, it's sad because I know we, you know, we key key and, and it's shits and giggles and, but I get it, right? Like I get how that could have affected someone negatively. And all it takes is just one decision, one wrong decision, or just not having this foundation be set, you know, for that to take place. And, and I could see how that easily could have been me, you know, because you see a lot, there's a lot that uh, you're exposed to. There's adults that you know are doing adult things you know and if navigating that can be difficult if you don't have the right foundation yeah. and for me thankfully i had that foundation with my mother um and with my family that i was able to navigate it pretty well i would say but I definitely was exposed to stuff that you would be like, yo, this kid is 13 years old. He shouldn't be exposed to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so I'm blessed, man, and thankful, you know, that I had that foundation, bro. Would you be able to give us any examples without really telling them, you know, implicating anybody? Of the type of stuff. You know what? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I'll put it this way. I'm 13. And let's just say it was a young lady, like late 20s. I'm 13. Mm -hmm. Writing love letters that my mother found. Like, mm -hmm. and it was, yeah, it was like stuff that you'd be like, this is wild. <laughs> and, and it's crazy because like, and I, it's funny, I've actually never like told this story like publicly, but and, like a few people know it like that mm -hmm. I know. And it's interesting because I tell the story to dudes and and women in this different reaction, right? And and keep in mind at the time, as a, as a young man who 13, y'all know that age, that's the age where yeah. hormones is raging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> my 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 13 year old hormone like is not processing that this is a grown ass woman, grown at like late 20s, early 30s. And I'm 13 years old, y'all. Like what's the like? You know, so yeah. it's it's stuff like that, you know.
and y'all can use the magic it's yeah use imagination a little bit but and let me keep it like look I'll, I'll, let me say this i'm not a in no way is this like a me too like a you know this is more just mm -hmm. the truth like you say this is just like legit like you know what i'm saying stories and i my story is just one of several i'm sure like i'm sure you know it's crazy you know? because you said like you you put it right on the head as a 13 year old dude and we sitting here laughing because we know at 13 if you would have had a 28 year old the notch on your belt with there is unbelievable with your boys right Come on. You but know. think about that, like, and, and now I'm thinking about it with Soul Food, like all those legendary actors and actresses that were around you, you were the star of that shit. It was you. Yeah. So yeah. you could wow. see how some adult females would look at this like, yo, this dude is fly. But on the flip side, and let's just keep it a thousand, and it, it's 100% wrong, but if a male actor was to do that to a young female actress, would Come we be on, sitting man. here laughing and joking the same way we do? Or would you be, or would anybody laugh and joke if you were told that story? So how, like, ugh. Although Bro, like, you're not gonna meet too when you a real one, and that's cool. But it was as a young man, that shit, that's kind of crazy, right? And, and you know what? I'm like, and you, you do. It took me decades to even re like realize. Cause I'm laughing along with, like, I'm like, right. man, you know. But it took me more maturity, obviously, man, as a, a grown man. I'm not a father, but I want to be. Uh, but it took that maturity and just that understanding how of how wrong that that is. And how wrong that was, right. you know what I'm saying? Um, you're absolutely right. Like you look at it now, like that's sick, right? Yeah. Like I mean, come on, Thir thirty year old and a thirteen year old, right? Like who's just now kind of discovering himself, and you know, uh, you know, it, it's yeah, man. It, it's that's something that I definitely can look back on, and just like wow, like it, it, it's wrong. And and it you know what man it takes the responsibility. What I feel like like there needs to be better checks and balances in place mm -hmm. in the industry, man. Especially for these child actors, man. You know, because it's it's truly like it is at times you feel like, and what can they get out of you? You know, but do they actually care about the psychological, you know, damage if you will that may be occurring? you know to some of these kids and and look i am so blessed and happy to have had the credit i've had let me make sure to say that um you know it allowing me to be on platforms like this um but we just also like you say have to keep it real too yeah. you know and and have better checks and balances in place for young child actors man. we've seen that you did a lot of tv series and shows and stuff after soul food but people would ask what happened 